Hey guys, it's your boy, Brad Brad here, bringing you another awesome video! Hey guys, it's your boy, Brad Brad here, bringing you another awesome uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Go format uh, deck profile. This time we're bringing you Flute Dragons. It's an older build, maybe a little bit outdated, but it's okay. Still wins games once in a while. So let's get in with the deck here, boys. So this deck runs, resolves around the card, Lord of D and the Flute of Summoning Dragons. The Lord of D and the Flute of Summoning Dragons work together to let you special summon two uh, dragon-type monsters from your hand if you got the Lord of D on field with this card. So you go... You get a whole bunch of field advantage, and you go like minus one, I think. I don't know. It's fucking horrible. But anyways, guys, so this is the... I'm going over the, by the card by card. You basically just want to just get some damage in, and out of nowhere, bring out a whole bunch of stuff, and try and kill your opponent. That's kind of how the deck works. So, you got your one GD Warrior Lady. It's a good generic card for, uh, I don't know, removal and stuff like that. It's good beater and all that. You got your uh, Fusilier Dragon, the Duomo Beast, who goes well with the Metamorphosis. You got two Horus, the Black Blade Dragon, level 6, which is special summon summonable, off the Flute Dragon. Um, you got Horus, level 8, which you can only be special summoned from, attack killing a monster with him, and he negates all spells, so it's an okay card to get out there. The Dragon, technically, as well, so, you know, it kind of works with the deck a little bit. We got the Kaiser Glider, uh, one of the better one tribute dragons. He's alright, he's a 2400 beater, he's a light. He's got that okay effect, the same attack, it sends the tar uh, target to the graveyard instead, so you know, you can you can attack a, a Monarch or a Jinzo and kill it without him dying. So it's okay, it's not bad. And then Lord of D protects your dragons from uh, protection, lets them get protection effects, sorry. And then you got your Mirage Dragon, which doesn't let your opponent activate uh, battle traps. Uh, you got your Sangin as well, your Sinister Serpent, to go with your Entry Infecting Virus, as well as just being a good card. You got your Tribe for the... Uh, you know, for the uh, for generic removal, cards is so good, you gotta run it. You got Twin Head Behemoth, it's a pretty, it's an okay card. It's not bad, it's a dragon technically, so it does work with the flute as well. Tyrant Dragon's a really good flute hit if you can get them off, and sometimes you can even get a Twin Head on the field and something else. And, you know, do the true tribute, bam, boom, bada, bing. You got your two Luster Dragons for the 1900 Beaters. And that's the monster line for the spells. We got a one delinquent do, obviously, two true name, because you just want to hit in there at the end of the day and try and kill your opponent. You got your graceful charity, you got your heavy storm, your two metamorphoses to go with him, as well as your level six. If you want to go into some level sixes, uh, your mystical space typhoon, your nobleman's and cross oats, your pot of greed, your premature barrier, your snatch, the obviously your stamina destruction. I used to think this card was good. This card's horrible. But I, I run it at one. I probably should put, you know what? We're going to take this out, actually. Fuck this card. We're going to put another flute in there. Because, uh, I mean, it's not a great card, but, like, it's better than that piece of shit. And that card's horrible. <laughs> and we got two Jar of Greed, an OG Brud Brud Tech, uh, the Mirror Force. You got the Phoenix Wind Blast and Rageki Break. I just kind of put them in there just because, I don't know why not. You got the Serpent, so one of each. I don't know which one's better, just testing it out. You got the Ring of Destruction, obviously, and your Trench Tribute. And then we got, so we got a decent amount of Fusion deck. Um, we should probably uh, fix this up and add some proper Fusions to it. More Fusions than this, but that's all right. You can technically add every fusion in go format. I just don't remember how you do it, but you can do it. Um, and then for side, we've got the Cannon Soldier there, the Cypher Soldier, uh, Karibo, two Brain Con, two Mind Con, one Mystic Walk, three uh, Road to Green, three Solemn Judgment. So that's the deck there, guys. It's not a bad deck, not the best deck ever made. It does its job once in a while. It can be okay. It was pretty fun back in the day. I think we can make a better build that I really sat down and tried to. Right now, I'm not in the mood for it. So this is the old build that we had. It's an okay one. It can, it can win some games here and there. It's a pretty fun casual deck. Sometimes you can win on ranked. Not very often, but, you know, once in a while, you can just catch your opponent off guard there, right? You can clear the board and then just bring out, use your flute, bring out a whole bunch of shit, and GG. Right? So you never know. And, uh, yeah, that's the deck, though, guys. So I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Brud, Brud, signing out.